Welcome to our live training session number 37. We're going to take a look at how to tune a supercharged Honda S2000 using AEM Series 2. Let's jump into some details about the vehicle. It's going to have a bone stock F22C engine. In addition, it's going to have a Science of Speed supercharger kit with an upgraded heat exchanger. It also has a 14 PSI pulley installed on the supercharger, so we should be seeing about 13 to 14 PSI of peak boost. Now on the exhaust side of things, we have a stock header, a stock exhaust, but it's been fitted with a test pipe. Now on the fuel side of things, we have ID 1000 CC injectors and a Walboro 255 liter per hour pump. It also has a plug and play four bar map sensor, an AEM series two engine management, and an inline wideband controller. So it's relatively basic in modification. We're gonna be doing our tuning on 93 octane. So now that we covered all the basic details here of the vehicle, let's jump into our live training session so we can get started. Welcome to our live training session here with our supercharged AP2 Honda S2000. Now we just went over all the details of the vehicle. Let's jump into our AEM tuner software so we can create our base file and get our engine fired up. So moving into our AEM tuner software, I'm going to be using version 3.2. This is the latest and greatest software right from AEM's website. So make sure you download that so we can follow along with what I'm showing here in this video. So this is a plug and play application from AEM. So this is a 6052 box. Um, from AEM, that's the part number. We need to reference that to open up the base calibration file associated with this box. So we could go in here if we go to file and we go here to new calibration, we could create a completely new calibration file for this vehicle, but that's gonna require us to set up various inputs and outputs and configuration details such as cam and crank sensor patterns for an S2000. Um, it's gonna take extra work. We can just simply open up the base file, use that as the starting point or the reference, and then go through the, the process of actually editing everything in the file. So this is gonna be just kind of a time saver what I'm gonna be showing you right here. Now, we can actually find the base calibration files if we jump here into our, uh, our folder here. Let's move into the C drive. We're gonna find here program files x86 into the AEM, and we can see here AEM tuner. We're going to find the calibrations are located in this folder. We also have in the associated subdirectory here the instruction sheets. This is invaluable for doing any kind of wiring or referencing things such as an input and output configuration here in the stock wiring. So um, looking here, we have a 10-6052. This is the plug and play box here that we're working with. So if I wanted to know how to wire something, I'd reference this particular PDF sheet. It's going to be showing me the pinout chart. Um, what the pins, what pin locations are, and then labeling what the pin location represents. So in this particular vehicle, we have some unique things that we can do with the stock dash. We have an immobilizer light that can be turned on for something, maybe a warning light or a shift light. We also have the check engine light can be turned on for other features or functions. They're both going to be documented on what low side or outputs we have to work with on this application. That's going to vary from application to application. So on this vehicle, um, we are going to use this particular PDF sheet to reference any kind of wiring for uh, essentially for doing any kind of inputs or outputs configuration if we're confused on anything. But I'm going to go through what, what's available here for this application to kind of set some things up on the dash just so things will turn on as a warning light before we get started. Uh, that way if you're doing your tuning process and something pops up, the immobilizer light comes on or the check engine light comes on, you're going to know that and you're going to be able to see it and give you a warning that something's wrong. So. Let's go in here let's close this out. I just wanted to point that directory out because that's very important. Again, a lot of people don't know it's there. A lot of people don't know the PDFs files are there and um, they're gonna be something you reference quite often, especially if you're doing a lot of tuning. I look at them a lot. Um, I know a lot of the applications by heart, kind of the pinout uh, locations, but I still reference it just for clarification or if I'm working with an application that I don't know, I'll go back in there and just take a look at the schematics um, just so I can see what the pinout locations are. So what we need to do here to open up a base file, we'll go to file, we'll go to open calibration. So if we go to open calibration, this is going to be taking me into a directory I've created here under uh, my documents. Uh, if we keep going up here. Um, Thanks for checking out our teaser clip. If you want to see the rest of this video and more than 500 hours of current EFI training we have to offer, make sure you click right here. If you want to go and check out more teaser clips from this training course, click here and you don't want to miss any of the videos we're going to be releasing on this channel. So make sure you subscribe and click here. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys later.